Hello everybody, finally all 10 of the MCC 22 teams have been announced and if you want to see more MCC videos remember to like and subscribe and you can help me on my way to 2k subscribers and I'm going to be going through all these teams from who I think is most likely to get first and who is least likely but also sadly Illumin and Fruitan in this MCC so I have no idea who I'm going to watch so tell me in the comment section who I should watch now, the team I think will get first is Cyan Coyotes, with Rambu, CPK, Wilbursuit, and Wisp. Now, I think CPK will get back-to-back -back wins here, because Rambu, Wilbur, Wisp, and CPK are all amazing players. Rambu is a top 10 player, well, at least I think he'll place top 10 this MCC, Wisp is really good, and the same as CPK and Wilbur. In second place, I think it will be Orange Ocelots, with Peach, Raigai, Rocky, Small Speeds, and Spifey. And I think if it, these two teams get into Dodge Bolt, um, Cyan Coyotes will win because this team does not seem as strong as the other team at Dodge Bolt. But this team is pretty good and I think they'll come second. In third place, I have the Red Rabbits, with Dream, George, Captain Puffy, and Awesome Dude. Now this is a completely Dream SMT, SMP team and I'm excited for this because whenever Dream and George are put together they make quite a force to be reckoned with so I doubt this team won't place top 5. In 4th place I put the Pink Parrots with Purples, Tommy in it, Captain Sparkles and the Orion sound. Who knows maybe Captain Sparkles will finally get his first win here and break his 3rd place curse and I think Purple is gonna pop off in this event just as he did last time. And this team is pretty good, probably the weakest player would be the Ryan Sound, which is pretty good because he's pretty good too. Next, in 5th place is the Purple Pandas, with Puns, Gemini, Tay, Shovel, and Cub Fan. Now this is another team I'm really excited for, because I love watching Puns and Cub Fan's POVs. They're like two of my favorite to watch, so I can't wait to watch review this team. And in 6th place, I put the Lime Llamas with Quigs, Major Solidarity, and Pearlescent Moon. Now, th this is a pretty good team I'm also excited for, but Solidarity did come 40th last event, so that kind of weakens the team quite a bit. But other than that, this is a pretty solid team. Quig, maybe he'll get a f his first win since like MCC 45, I think. But in seventh place, I put the Blue Bat to Tapple, Tubbo, Snifferish, and Eret. Now, a lot of people probably think this team is going to come higher, but Tapple hasn't been doing that well in his recent MCCs, but Tubbo has been popping off, so I think Tubbo will be the team leader for this team. Next, we have the Aqua Axolotls, with H-Bomb, Green, False Symmetry, and Good Times of Scar. Finally, H-Bomb is now teamed with all of the Hermits that have been in MCC, and this is one really cool team. We have Green and Scar teaming together, which is really nice. And maybe the H-Factor will, will do its play here and get this team to top 5. In ninth place, I put the Green Geckos with Sapnap, Foolish Gamers, Tina Kitten, and the Michael McChill. Now, a lot of people will probably predict this team to be higher, but there's two newcomers. And Michael isn't the best at the game. Sorry if Michael's watching this. But Sapnap might pop off and get this team to dodge bolt as he usually does, and he might get his fourth back-to-back -back win. And last place is Yellow Yaks. Now I'm really excited for this team, but I do not see this team coming top 5, because statistically it's not that good of a team, but it's an all-girls team, and JoJo solos, I doubt she'll drop out of the top 10, and I can't wait to watch these VODs.